Okay, so you want to know how to merge rows in Microsoft Excel. So we're going to base the merge on the names in this column. These are basically the books that these individuals have read within this particular book club. So I'm going to show you two different ways of doing this. The first is with a couple of functions that are available in Excel 365. And the second method is using Power Query and that is available in versions of Excel prior to Excel 365. Okay, let's look at the first method. So the first thing you want to do is to put your data in an Excel table, and you can do that by clicking somewhere in the data and going to insert on the ribbon tabs across the top there, then table, make sure your table has headers. So that's got to be ticked there, click on okay. And then you need to give the table a name and you'll see there's a table name box here. No spaces allowed. I'm just going to call this books red. So we need to duplicate the column headings here. So we've got name and books red. So to get the unique names in this list, you're going to use the unique function and you can refer to this name column by typing in the name you gave the table then open a square bracket and select name from the list. So I've got my list of unique names. I can sort those if I want to, by putting unique within sort. Now to get the list of books that each of these people have read, we're gonna use the text join function. The delimiter is what you want to separate the names of the books with. So we want to separate them with a comma and a space. That's got to go in speech marks. Ignore empty where say is true, just in case we do have empty cells here. Comma and text one, that's going to be an if, and you're going to say, is the name in the books read table in the name column equal to this name here? If it is, we want to return the name of the book that they've read. So again, that's books read, books read column, or book read column. And if the name isn't equal to the name in D2, we just want to return an empty text string. So I close the bracket twice, once for if and the other time for text join, and I press enter, and I'll get a list of the book names that. Baku has read. If I copy this down, you can see it works for the other names. Okay, for the second method, we're going to use Power Query. For this method, your first step is to click somewhere in the data, go to the data tab on your ribbon, and then click on from table range. You need to make sure this checkbox is ticked, my table has headers, click on okay. That will open up the Power Query editor. Now our first step is to group by name. So with that column selected, we go to transform and group by. So we're grouping based on name and the new column we're going to create, we're called books red. And temporarily we'll say the operation is sum, although that's not ultimately what we want to do. What we actually want to do is combine text within the book red column. So click on okay. Now up here in this formula, we just need to change a few things. Where it says list sum, change that to text.combine. You'll see it in the IntelliSense list there. And then after the name of the column that you're going to combine, type a comma, and then in quotation marks, the delimiter you want to use to separate the book name. So we'll say that's a comma and a space. So I'll go to the end of the formula and press enter and you can see it's combined those book names. Then we go to home, close and load, and it loads the new table into a separate sheet. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.